Let's learn how to apply these specific formatting options to our spreadsheet. Now let's think about how we can make our information look better when we print. Keep in mind that our objective is to make the data look easier to read and easier to understand. And we are going to talk about specifically these two sections in the home ribbon, the font and the alignment in the next couple of videos. In this video, we will be talking about the specific section here in the font area in the home ribbon and we will be covering the options available here. So now that we have the set of data here, it is not that clear that this is the list of field names or column names. And so let's see if we can make it look very clear and obvious that this is the names of the columns, not the data itself. So in order to do so, I'm going to select cell A2 and I am going to make it look bold by clicking this B icon here. And as you can see here, it, it changed the font, it changed the text to appear bold. And I can do the same in cell B2. I can click that and that will change that as well. So now it clearly stands out, these two things stand out from the rest of the cells so that it tells us that this is the heading or the header row. We can also select multiple cells. For example, I've selected all three now and I can go and apply bold. And if you would like to undo that or remove the bold, you can click on that and that will remove the bold from these cells that you had selected. We can also use keyboard shortcut. So for example, I can select all the five and I can choose control and B together. And what it did was the first cell already had bold font in it. And now when I did control B, it removed the bold. And if I press again, control B, it will apply bold to all the selected cells. So basically it's a toggle. So if, if it's already bold and if you use control B, it is going to unbold or if it's not bold originally, then if you use control B, it is going to bold. This shortcut control B is also common with other Microsoft applications such as Microsoft Word. Now let's say we are not happy with just bold and we want to see if we can italicize it. So I can click on this I icon here and that will actually change the appearance of the font and the text will be leaning towards the right a little bit. And this, these are common options available in word processing applications such as Microsoft Word. These are just how things appear when you look at it or when you print this Excel spreadsheet. How do you want this to appear? These are personal preferences. You can play with it. The next thing here is underlining. So if I would like these names to be underlined, I can just select them and hit this U icon here and that will underline here. And you can see here there's this carrot here and that allows us to drop down and find that there is an extra option there to do double underline. So if I select that and this will give me double underlines below each of these names. And if that's what you would prefer, you would you can leave it there. I'm going to remove double underline. I'm going to remove the italics and this will leave me with a simple bold, which looks clean enough. Um, a general recommendation that I would give is don't do too much of such formatting because the goal is again just to make the data easy to read and easy to understand. So all of these other things should not be a distraction. It should help in understanding, not distract you from looking at the information because that is absolutely the most important thing that is in your spreadsheet. Another thing before we move on to the next topic, as we saw, we can have combinations 
so i can have bold and underline or double underline i can have bold and italics or i can have just bold so any combinations of these would be fine except you can't have double underline and a single underline in the same thing but otherwise these three you can just play with it and then figure out the best way you would like to present your information